Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C-square. In this example, you need to sketch the graph of a hyperbola by hand. And the first question you need to ask yourself is where is the center of this uh, hyperbola? And the center for this hyperbola is going to be 1 because we have x minus 1 and negative 3 because we have uh, y plus 3, which means y minus negative 3. So... That means uh, the center is somewhere in quadrant 4. And the next thing you will have to uh, ask yourself is what is the focal axis here? And because we have x squared minus y squared, something like this, x minus 1 squared and minus y plus 3 squared, that should tell you y equals negative 3, right, this guy here, is the focal axis. This is the focal axis. And now on this focal axis, we're going to need to find the uh, vertices. For finding the vertices, we need to find A because the focal axis is on a horizontal line. So we're going to do A squared equals 2. So A will be plus or minus square root of 2, which tells us that from this center, 1 and negative 3, I'm going to go square root of 2 left, square root of 2 right, and I have the two vertices. So in case you want to write them, think about how... Uh, the x coordinate change when you move square root of 2 left and right from uh, 1. So that means this first point will have the coordinate uh, uh, from 1. I'm going to move uh, square root of 2 left. So it's going to be 1 minus square root of 2 and negative 3. The first vertex and the second one is going to be 1 plus square root of 2. And negative 3. All right, these are the two coordinates of these two vertices. Um, for finding the asymptotes, which also allow us to uh, do a, an accurate sketch of the hyperbola, we need to find b and b squared equals 4. So b will be square root of 4 plus and minus. So we get this plus and minus 2 which allows us to write now the equation of the asymptotes, y equal. And so in fact, let me let me write the, the other way. We can write it like an y equal, but I think it's easier to write this way. y plus 3, y minus k, right? y minus negative 3 equal plus or minus because we have two asymptotes, b over a, 2 over square root of 2, which is the slope of these two lines, positive 2 over square root of 2 and negative 2 over square root of 2, and then times the quantity x minus h, x minus 1. These are the two asymptotes, which are going to look something like this. And then you, may, you can draw this hyperbola, something like that, okay? A summary of what I did is right here, uh, this formula in case you need them, and also we have, I have the accurate graph here of the sketch I did it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.